This is my daughter, Cat-Cat, uh, Case Cat-Cat, and she's having a little conversation with her mother. And when the two of them communicate, it sounds like they're angry, but they're not. They just are high-strung and um, mother and daughter thing. All right, this particular uh, lesson, this is lesson 15. I think it's one of my favorites because it shows you how precise you've got to be with the shots. You know, that's what I want to teach you, to be precise. I mean, not nonchalant. To really be a pro. And so on this uh, five, you got to draw back about where the cue ball is now because you want to be straight in on this six. So you can draw the six back about a foot and could be straight in on that seven. Now that's the key to the pattern. Getting straight in on that seven because you got to shoot the eight and then slide up for the nine. What makes this pattern so great is you got to get precise position. Now I need to draw that cue back to this line. And uh, if I don't get there, you'll see, uh, it'll turn my run into a much different type of uh, layout. I'll be required to shoot some pretty fancy shots. Okay, I'm uh, about two inches short. I can still get away with this because I'm almost straight in and uh, what I'm going to do is just curl the cue ball over to this spot and that will leave me straight in on that 7. Okay, now I did not curl the cue ball over to that spot. And I'm going to pay a big price here. I'm, uh, I've got to shoot that 7 and somehow get on the uh, 8. And I have a cut. See? I have to cut that. So I'm going to have to shoot the 7, shoot a kill shot, which is very sophisticated. Come over here and come up here for the 8 right there. Now the kill shot uh, one of the reasons why I would miss it if I missed it would be because I'm shooting low in the cue ball and shooting soft. And if I'm inadvertently one millimeter off to the left or right, the cue ball will swerve and then I'll miss the shot. So I've got to be dead on on this particular shot. bad break there. I just hit the eight ball otherwise it'd be right here. So now there's no problem because I have a good shot right here. I'm going to play the eight right there and I'll play it off the nine. Come on. <laughs> so uh, as is the reward, I'm left with a long, tough shot on a nine ball. Uh, so proud of her because she's uh, very helpful. Now she did have a puppy that she didn't take care of, and so we had to give it away. And I don't know if she's forgiven us yet. But, you know, we have two dogs. And uh, the two neighbor dogs come over and think they live here. Okay, let me shoot this again for you. Uh, you saw what happened when I didn't get on that six. It turned the whole run out into a nightmare. I mean, uh, you got to like that eight ball that I played off the nine. And then you got to like the nine ball that I had to use to finish the run out. So I designed this table to be slow because I want to, if you come over here for 21 days, I want to make sure that I leave you with a great stroke.
remember doing this exercise uh, over at the other place. And uh, like here, I'm a half inch too far. It really makes it a difficult shot. It might be okay on uh, in New York, but here it's going to be different. See, I did everything I could with that, and I still have my angle. Uh, I'm going to try inside English. Uh, not bad. Not bad, Joe. Now I'm asking you to be professional. Well, that means you don't stretch way out over the table. Let's see on a critical shot like this. Now, I have a, I'm going to use the follow stroke. This is a shot that I teach in book one of the Road Players Training Course. Now you say, well, you're going to use the follow stroke. That means you're going to shoot the nine in the uh, left-hand corner pocket. You're going to go forward. That's not true. I'm going to shoot the nine in the same pocket as I shoot the eight. My follow stroke is going to have a little bit of a left-hand spin on it. So when it goes down to the bottom rail, it spins back up. I can control this follow stroke a lot better than I could the punch stroke. Okay. Right back for the nine. I don't know if you saw that, whether my shoulder was in the way, but whenever you have the nine ball, you want to shoot it in like you mean it, like you've been shooting it all day long. Well, I wish I could have done that in a more professional light, but, you know, we're dealing with real things here. I struggle just like everybody else. I can get that five times in a row, um, and I can do it almost to perfection, but other times I get out of line and I got to deal with it. Okay, thanks to Katherine for helping me. Um, it's always nice to have the kids up here. They're kind of inspiring. Now you can see how tall she is. Mm -hmm. She's just about as tall as me. She thinks she's taller, but she's not. So um, she has an incredible voice, and I am hoping that in the membership site she will sing a few songs. Will you? Yes. You and I will sing one together. So she always says no to everything I say, but she always does whatever I say. So, in the membership site, Katherine and I are going to sing a song together. Yeah. All right, see you later. Bye -bye.